Hi, I'm Peter. I'm part of the marketing team of the Enterprise Hardware Division at Gigabyte. Gigabyte was founded in 1986 as a motherboard manufacturer and is now a diverse brand of consumer and enterprise product. Gigabyte's enterprise hardware server business makes server systems that are used globally by hyperscale and cloud customers as well as small and medium enterprises. Today I wanted to talk to you about liquid cooling in the data center, why it is becoming more prevalent and what solutions Gigabyte can offer to our customers. As the amount of data being gathered and processed is growing rapidly, the requirement for greater computing power creates a need for ever more powerful processors such as CPUs or GPUs. The heat generated by these components is also increasing requiring more powerful air cooling systems, consuming more and more power and affecting ever more greatly both the bottom line and the environment. That's why Gigabyte is investing more research and development into server platforms which use liquid cooling technology. Liquid is a much more efficient way of transferring heat away from electrical components than air, requiring much less energy for cooling. In addition, since air cooling equipment such as large fans and heat sinks are not required, liquid cooling systems can support a much greater density of CPU and GPU components in a given space, enabling greater compute performance capabilities. Gigabyte has worked with various industry partners to develop platforms that use different liquid cooling systems, such as direct-to-chip liquid cooling, one-phase oil immersion cooling and two-phase liquid immersion cooling systems. Working with a variety of partners and technologies allows Gigabyte to offer many different options to meet the individual performance, space and cost requirements of each customer. For example, the G481S80 is our dual Xeon scalable 8 NVIDIA V100 SXM2 GPU server designed for high performance computing workload. During full CPU and GPU loading, the fan power required for air cooling would consume almost 400 watts of power. However, when equipped with a direct-to-chip liquid cooling system, fan and cooling power consumption can be reduced to around 120 watts, resulting in a saving of 280 watts per unit. Across a rack or multiple racks, from days to months to years, this can result in a massive electricity use reduction. The R161 R12 is our one new single socket Intel Core X series server. Using an in-chassis closed loop liquid cooling system, the CPU can be overclocked to 4.7 GHz, providing an ultra-fast, low-latency platform for applications such as high-frequency trading or video transcoding. Direct-to-chip liquid cooling will also be an option for our upcoming AMD Epic Roam server platforms. The H262 series features four nodes in a 2U chassis with dual CPUs per each node. The density of the chassis restricts the height of the heat sinks and number of fans which can be installed, placing a limit on the thermal design power of air-cooled CPUs. However, direct-to-chip liquid cooling breaks open this limitation, allowing even the most powerful CPU SKUs to be used in a dense configuration delivering even greater compute performance to our customers. At Gigabyte, we believe that liquid cooling will form a key part of future data center infrastructure, and we are looking forward to being a key enabler of this technology for our customers and partners.